Huh. How can this be? Did I underestimate the caliber of this material? I know every individual word in these book's titles, so why is it that they make no sense to me in these particular combinations? Take this one, for example. The good thing about being reincarnated as a hilly churl is that I only need to eat sunsetias to become stronger. Is it true that hilly churls grow stronger from eating sunsetias? Well, surely it should be some sort of meat, at least. It's just a narrative device! Narrative device. So it's... made up? What's the point of that? Without being grounded in reality, how can the story be believable? Also, I'm barely certain that Hilly Charles can't write stories. So, does this author claim to be documenting Hilly Charles life from an outside perspective, perhaps? Uh, Paimon's starting to understand Kuroda's reservations right about now. How about we choose for you? We can pick out some novels that are easier to understand and give you the scoop. All right, then. I believe myself to be relatively well-read, but with stories like these, I don't even know where to start. I have high hopes, though. This seems like Miko's style, so I'm sure the stories are very entertaining. All right, leave it to us. We'll be back in a jiffy. This could be a pretty tough job. Let's see what we're up against. on your faces tell me you found some good stories. Hey! Paimon thought we agreed not to bring that one up. It's okay. I find it quite interesting. I didn't realize that this was how ordinary people viewed the Shogun. She would never use the Muso no Hitotachi as frivolously as she does in the pages of this book. Nor would she ever use it as a means of venting emotions. In reality, the reason for drawing her blade determines the martial form to use, and the degree of power with which to imbue it. Since there is such a great deal of difference between the story and the reality, I don't feel offended at all. On the contrary, I find the author's powers of imagination quite admirable. That said, I hear that Yai Publishing House's novels are all reviewed by Miko herself. Which means that the content of this book must have been approved by her. In fact, no. 
It may even have been her idea in the first place. So what do you think of Yai Publishing House's light novels, eh? Do you like the stories we picked? What I take from these stories is not so much the content itself, but what they represent in terms of the effects of time upon Inazuma. Back when I decided to isolate myself in the plain of Euthymia, there was no Yai Publishing House, and certainly no stories of this kind. In accordance with my wishes, the Shogun did her best to create an eternal nation. A nation that, in theory, should remain entirely unchanged over time. But the fact is that both the food and the stories have changed with time. I disagree with your point of view. That's what I would say if we were still in the plane of Euthymia. But the truth is right here in front of my eyes, and I can't deny it. And that's exactly why we brought you out, to take a look around and get some fresh ideas. Sure, it's not the same as you remember, but one way or another, people are loving life in the present. That's gotta be a good thing, right? Yes, you're right. I'm wary of any and all change. But I do not wish for my pursuit of eternity to stop human lives from changing for the better. Thank you for inviting me out. This trip has been quite eye-opening for me. This may be an everyday occurrence for you, but for me, this trip has been quite an occasion. I've seen a lot, and it's made me think a lot. I really can't praise it highly enough. I hope I will remember it for a long time to come. Ooh, great idea! Ace had a wonderful time, and a photo is the best way to remember it! Take a photo? <sighs> Once again, I'm faced with a combination of words that makes absolutely no sense to me. It's okay! Come with us! We'll find a scenic spot and show you what we mean!